guys, I'm Lauren, that awkward plank girl. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you guys for popping in. Today, we're totally redoing my plant room. This video is all in thanks of Click and Grow and IndoorGardening.com. We'll definitely talk about more of those later. And I've got four more terrarium tanks I'm building a bookshelf for, so you can see my process with that. And then I am building a planty backdrop for all of my videos that I make. It just needs a, a nice little refresh, as you can kind of see here. All right. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is what we're working with here. It's very open, very messy. Things are just kind of thrown here. It looks full with a lot of plants, but not very professional, not a great backdrop. And then this is what I have to fix it. I got some grow lights. I got two of these bookcases. I just didn't have room for everything right here. And then I've got four of these size 10 glass gallon aquariums. So we're gonna use those to make terrariums later on another bookshelf. So this is kind of what I have going on and we're just gonna work on these and build these. To do that one more time and then I have to go and pick up my husband I'm not gonna film it twice for you guys um so that's gonna be the end of today and we're gonna pick this up tomorrow where I put some grow lights on this thing and we decide exactly how it's gonna go and move around the plants and all the fun stuff tomorrow Good morning guys, it's day two of our plant makeover in here. Um, I have been very, very busy. Last night I ended up finishing the second bookshelf, got that all taken care of, went and picked up my hubby. This morning I have woken up super, super early. People are still sleeping, it's not really like super light out yet. I'm gonna go down and eat some breakfast in a minute, but I wanted to kind of catch you guys up on everything that I've been doing this morning. Um, I moved this other bookshelf here. What was here was like a desk topper thing. And then I had a bunch of rehab plants on it and just a whole bunch of random storage stuff like stuff to make potting mix and those kind of things. I don't know where I'm going to put that stuff yet, um, but I also had my click and grow on there. So I needed to move that as well. Got that all set up this morning and I'll give you like a little grand tour of that over there. I basically ended up moving the desk topper on top of the repotting table, which is over my new terrarium. And I think it looks amazing. So I was able to put my chemicals up there out of the baby's reach and not have to constantly like have them be stored away to the point that I can't even use them. I have my mister for my terrarium. 
I have some plant food. I put the watering cans up there because I'm constantly losing the watering cans. It drives me freaking nuts. So I got that up there. And then what I'm really excited about is having all of this storage up there um, for my little planty pods for my click and grow. I'm freaking loving this thing. Real quick on how I got this whole click and grow was I started working for indoorgardening.com a while ago. I'm sure you guys have seen the videos. If not, go on over there. Like this is the fun channel and that's more like information channel. But they asked me to start making content for them and at first it was just videos and guest blogging and then we entered like a contract and everything and now I am officially working with them and then we started doing brands and they wanted me to do these brands for them. And I was like, okay. So I ended up getting this click and grow back in, uh, I want to say end of August, beginning of September. So that's when I tried it for them and I was like, okay, I really like this. So I started using it and I went through a full cycle of plants and now I'm halfway through my second cycle of plants and I'm like, this is freaking awesome. So <laughs> I was like, hey, can I put this on my channel too and give my people the discount too? And they were like, yeah, sure, absolutely. I was like, okay. So, and I do get like a small commission for it and everything, um, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Like what I love about the Click and Grow is that everything is sustainably made. Everything is sustainably packaged. The plants are non-GMO, non-pesticide. They grow 30% faster, which is really cool. So like waiting for the seeds to germinate and everything, everything is fresh right there. There. Currently, I am growing tomatoes. Um, I've got tomato, basil, and I've got strawberry plants in there as well, which is so exciting because my strawberry plants this summer do not make it, guys. It was just awful. Um, so I'm excited to be able to have strawberries in the middle of freaking winter. I'm literally growing these in my home and everything is set on a timer. So it's not like the seeds that I planted last year where I had to come up and water the baby plants every single day. Like it's a whole self-watering thing. I poured water in it and left it for a month and just came and checked on the plants just for fun, you know, every day. Like, ah, oh, I didn't have to do anything. It was all self-watering. The light is set on a timer. Like, I don't have to worry about it. I actually have it set up so it doubles as a night light for my son at night. So it lights up the little area for him if he wants to come down for water or whatever. So when he's walking by, so I don't even have to take up like an extra outlet. Like that does it while it's growing plants and it turns on automatically like right before his bedtime. Like, oh, it's amazing. But everything is awesome. They have like a tea set that I really want to get with all different kinds of herbs for tea, which is amazing. They have fruits. They have veggies. Um, I think I really want to get a second one and just have lettuce. I'm already going to be snacking on the tomatoes and the strawberries. So... And then the basil is freaking delicious too. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I grew with them before was actually petunias. Like they have a whole big houseplant pack. So I have more houseplants to grow from them, but I grew petunias. So I have my beautiful little petunias. Uh, I have them back here. I love them. They're amazing. It's just really cool. I'm loving them. So I got that all set up over there with all of the storage. I'm planning on getting more plant pods. I think the pods are 40% off for Black Friday. And then you can get the actual like click and grow smart gardens. I think those are 30% off. Maybe I'll get the tea one and the lettuce one. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I'm in love with this system. It's so cool. So definitely check it out. I'll leave the code in the link down below. The code so you can save 10% off anytime. So that way if you don't get to it for Black Friday, you still have that discount code. Anyway, so I got that all set up there and it looks amazing. I've got my storage for my shipping there. I've got Secret Planta coming up for a couple of my groups. So I've got boxes all set up for that as well. I've got my book to keep track of all the videos that I'm making coming out and whatnot. And then I've got like a repotting station and it's just really awesome. I'm excited. All of my stuff in one area so I can better take care of my plants, which was a struggle for me this summer. So let's talk about what I got done this morning. What I got done this morning was moving this second bookshelf here and then I put these fish tanks here. Um, I put this fish tank here as well. There's some more stuff that needs to go up top, like decorative stuff. I went shopping and picked up a whole bunch of different things for plenty projects. So I'm going to put those up top for right now. Um, plant shopping video coming. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I took down some of the thirsty plants that were over there where we're going to be putting the secondary bookshelf for the backdrop. So I took that down and they are down here and they're having a nice little drinky drink. What we got to do now is go ahead and take these plants off of, it's literally right behind you guys. Uh, <laughs> 
So we literally got to take all the plants off of that. So I'm going to show those to you. And then after that, we've got a plant style and put all the plants on there, which if you guys have tips and I mess things up when I'm doing that, please let me know because I'm not the best at that. So let's go ahead and get into it. How are you today? We got the shelf all taken care of yesterday and moved. Um, we have to whoop, we have to put plants on it today and that's gonna be the last final thing. Um, I've got some more grow lights to put up and then it'll be more projects down the line but for the most part I just want to get this done today and then we're probably gonna have to cut this off because it's been oh, three days worth of work. So that is the plan. I made myself a cup of coffee, checked on my little click and grow plants. Oh my gosh, the basil. I get to take the little lids off the basil right now. I'm so excited. It's always awesome when you get to take the little domes off and you get to see the baby leaves every day. Oh, I love it. The tomatoes, I took the lids off a couple of days ago and their leaves started to unfurl and now they have like long little stems with their little baby hairs. Oh, it's the cutest freaking thing. I'm seriously loving this thing. We've got to get the plants on the shelves today. And then we will be good. So I'm going to take another sip of coffee and then we're going to get started. And you and I can chat about what plants to put on here because I'm not 100% sure what to do. And I think eventually maybe I'll put like, um, if you watch Finchie over on Talk Planty to me, what she's done with her redstas is add paper to the background of them and it looks really, really cool. And I think I'd like to do something like that at some point or another to these bookshelves. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping she'll make a tutorial video on that so that I can see how she did it and then I can kind of modify it to how I do it. I'm kind of worried that she might have done it while she was building them and I've already built my bookshelves and then I'm going to have a huge pain in the butt trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> oh, it's always chaos. There's always chaos. But my creative brain is always going. And that lady has good ideas. If you're not following her, you totally should be. She is brilliant. Go away. It's my coffee. My coffee, you dang fungus gnats. Right, I'm going to go hide my coffee from the fungus gnats and we're going to talk plants. Okay? Okay, so I'm hoping the sound quality is okay while I pick up these plants and put them on here. I have a new tripod that does not allow my little microphone to sit on top, so that's a technical problem I'm going to have to solve. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, and my floor is creaky. I don't know if that mic is going to be picking all this up or not, but hopefully it is. So, alright, um... 
And I'll give you an overview of the plants after I get them on as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I know that I am going to want... Um, there's a very large golden process that I'm going to want right here. Right here. Why not? Um, yeah, maybe I want them here. What do you guys think? This is so hard. What is going to be about how hard this is? How do you know where to put it up on the hands? We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. So we've got the skin capsis. Little skin capsis. These are so pretty. And I know some of these need their leaves and stuff trimmed, so we're definitely going to get that. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Oh my gosh. This, I'm going to do a whole video on like the plants that I got. But this is like an Easter cactus or a Christmas cactus, one of those. Some type of ripsalis. It's my second ripsalis. They like lower light, so I know that I want to put them. Here we go. So they like lower light so they can keep blooming. Maybe I'll put them here. I don't know. How much space? Alright. So I think right here I'll be good. I'll show up in my little shop. So I think we need to put a little shelf here. So let me get the little shelf thingies. And obviously I'm going to get him a pup, but what do you think? Alright, so there's that and that. Bottom watering is pulled though, so it's gonna drip everywhere. And I've got the plastic under it. Little shelf kind of guy right up there, huh? Because I don't think he's gonna fit up top, and I gotta take this thingy off. Alright. Little leaves. I'm gonna blame the season, but really, it's me not watering him. <laughs> but honestly, it's just like, what, four? These are not old ones. These are fairly new ones. They're totally from me not watering this poor guy. And actually, this guy might need a fertilizer too. I have not fertilized him in so long.
All right, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like the space? Do you not like the space? Should I have done things differently? Do you have ideas for it to change in the future? Are you excited for the terrariums? Because I am very excited for the terrariums. Oh my goodness, I've got plans for every single one of them and plans for many more <laughs> that I don't have space for. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe because I totally have a terrarium video coming out for the 75 gallon. It's already filmed. I just have to edit it. And then I have update videos. I have unboxing videos. Like these things are sitting there waiting for me to edit. So they are coming out like absolutely. Um, we're going to be probing a bunch of begonias because it's got to happen. That's what I got this up here for. So there is that. Make sure you subscribe for all of that. Oh, don't forget to go and get your click and grow before the 30% off runs off for the Black Friday sale. So if you want one of those, or if you want to get one for like a mother-in-law or, you know, you have a family member that loves to grow plants and whatnot, but they don't feel like they have a green thumb, then that's a great option too. Okay. They have the house plants too. So make sure you go check them out. I think it's 40% off the pods and 30% off for all the smart gardens. So, but if you guys miss the Black Friday sale, I have the 10% off for you guys too. So there is that. And I'm going to let you go and I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And this is really cool. This thing uh, right here. I'm not gonna, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are